please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEC scholarships 2018. There are two mathematics exams, one for social sciences mathematics A and another for natural sciences mathematics B. This problem is from the 2018 mathematics B questionnaire. The answer key and original questions are linked in the description. Problem 1 of 1. If x is greater than 0, y greater than 0, and x plus 3y equals 2, then 1 over xy is greater than or equal to blank, with equality if and only if x equals blank and y equals blank. Just a few ideas and tips regarding this problem. First is that we notice that we're actually being asked to optimize a function. By that we mean we're trying to look for a minimum or a maximum. And in fact, every time we see this form of a problem where it's asking for when the equality happens, when some expression here is greater than or equal to k, which is a constant, or the expression is less than or equal to some constant k, what it's actually asking is, what is the minimum value for f of x? And in this case, what is the maximum value for f of x? And that's pretty clear when we realize that this is the definition of minimum. k is the minimum if and only if it is less than or equal to any f of x. And in the same way, k is the maximum if and only if it is greater than or equal to any value of f of x. And then now that we're attuned to the idea that we're actually looking for a, for a minimum or a maximum, we might be tempted to use calculus. However, we will see that in this problem and in many other problems, we would not need calculus here. And that's because the form of the given can actually be reduced to a quadratic function. And our tool of choice when we're dealing with quadratic functions is the standard form of the parabola. So the standard form of the parabola is this, f of x equals some constant, and then x minus h squared plus k. And here we have a plus or a minus. If it's a plus, that means our parabola is opening upwards. Therefore, we are looking for a minimum. And if it's a minus, our parabola is opening downwards. So we are looking for a maximum. And that value of the minimum, the maximum, is actually k. And h is when is when that happens. So that is that is the x value. When we, obtain, when we attain the maximum or the minimum. Now the problem asks, what is the minimum value of one over xy? And again, we know that we are looking for a minimum because we have this symbol here, greater than or equal to. And we know that if it's like that, we are looking for a minimum. So k there, or rather here, the the blank here is the minimum of 1 over xy. However, it is actually easier to manipulate the reciprocal here. So instead of thinking about 1 over xy, let's think about xy. And of course, that will flip the symbol here because the minimum of xy would be the maximum of the denominator. And so, let us try to maximize xy, in other words, 1 over a here. And the way we do that is as follows. We define a function, we define a function that is equal to xy. So this is actually x times y. And this y here, we express y in terms of x using this equation here. And so that will be 2 minus x over 3. And then we try to put it in a form like this. So first is we factor out the one third there, negative one third, so we get this. And we just multiply out the x, and now we are getting closer. 
and we notice that it's x squared minus 2x inside the quantity symbols and so this is very easy to complete the square we just add one so we add one and subtract one to make sure we, we are not changing the value and now we can just regroup the terms we group the first three because it's a, they are a perfect square they form a perfect square and eventually if we do this carefully we will get this expression here and let's just rewrite that so the expression we got was this negative one third times x minus one squared plus one third and we remember that this is the maximum of xy this we're trying to look for the maximum of xy and we know that k here is the maximum and so one third here is the maximum of xy and if that is the case and also we notice that this also happens at x equals one because this is where the vertex of the parabola is and now if k is the maximum of f of x that is the maximum of this then if we get the reciprocal of that we will get the minimum of one over x y and so the minimum of one over x y is one over k which is just three and this happens at x equals one and now that we have x we can solve for y again just substituting the one here so if you put one here we see that our y is just one third finally let's check if the answers we have satisfy the problem so x is equal to one and that is greater than zero and our y is one third and that's greater than zero and looking at that i think we have the answers if you learned something new today please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications see ya